So here is uh, what was announced today. Sergeant Hammer man mode confirmed. And what I just heard is that his abilities are already on the website as well. Even though I thought they weren't going to be announced until Wednesday. So that's super cool. Uh, so let me just summon that up as well. And we'll go take a look at that. Oh, sick. All right, here we go. Here we go. Kel'Thuzad, Arc Lich of Naxxramas. Kel'Thuzad has faithfully served the Lich King, both in life and after death. Reanimated as the Arch Lich of the Scourge and given the domain of the dread necropolis, Naxxramas, Kel'Thuzad remains Arthas' most trusted advisor and master of the Cold Dark. Nexus Kel'Thuzad, Star Lich. What the heroes of this pitiful blue marble fail to understand is that the Earth's fate cannot be delayed forever. In the end, the stars will fade and die, and in the cold dark, our empire is eternal. Entropy wins! Sorry, I had to do that. Thank you, guys. Uh, okay, so let's check out his abilities. I'm going to show you piecemeal because I do like a tease. Death and Decay. Ah, that, that was his ultimate in Warcraft 3. After half a second, launch an orb that explodes upon hitting an enemy, dealing 150 damage to enemies in the area. The explosion leaves behind a pool of decay that lasts two seconds. Dealing 70 damage every half second to enemies. So after half a second, you launch an orb. It explodes when it hits the enemy. Hey, man. And you deal 150 damage to the enemies. So it's kind of like Frost Nova in Warcraft 3, except it's a projectile instead of point and click. The explosion leaves behind a pool of decay. So it's a combination of Frost Nova and Death and Decay. It leaves behind a pool of decay that lasts for two seconds and it deals damage every half. Greetings, friend. Okay. Cool. Let me uh, turn on my aircon because I'm getting a little excited here and it's a hot day in the Netherlands. Frost Nova. Create a Nova that explodes after one second, dealing 212 damage to enemies inside and slowing them by 35% for two and a half seconds. Enemies in the center are rooted for one second. Chains of Kel'Thuzad. Launch a chain, dealing 97 damage to the first enemy uh, hero or structure hit. For four seconds after hitting an enemy, chains can be reactivated to launch to an additional enemy, pulling both enemies together and stunning them for half a second. Trait. 
master of the cold dark quest gain one blight every time a hero is rooted by frost nova or hit by chains of kalthuzad reward after gaining 15 blight the cooldown of all basic abilities is reduced by two seconds after gaining 30 blight gains gains 75 percent spell power okay cool so that's the real Kalthuzad. once you get that quest that means that at level one he's very weak he's just questing a bit like a mage version of butcher in the sense that he needs to skill up rather than saying wow 75 percent ability power if you add that to anyone they would be absolutely broken this is part of his kit so he's balanced around it okay cool and we get a little glimpse of what the orb looks like when it explodes. It leaves a blue circle. Frost Nova looks very much like in Warcraft 3. And Chains of Kalthuzad. Cool. I like his uh, animation too. Nice dress. And then his heroic abilities. Frost Blast. Launch a meteor of ice at an enemy hero. Upon impact, the meteor deals 100 damage to its target and 275 damage to enemies in the area. So it's like the reverse of Pyroblast, friend. which is more damage on the main and residual damage to the around. All enemies hit by Frozen Tomb. By Frozen Tomb? Frozen Blast. Okay, I think that's a mistake. Yeah, because he doesn't have a frozen tomb. <laughs> no one will be rooted, because there's no frozen... Nah, anyway, they, they must have renamed it. So, all enemies hit by frozen blast are rooted for one and a half second. Very nice, very nice. And how does it look? Like this. That's a pretty big radius. I've seen some radiuses in my day, and this is a rather big one. And then finally, Shadow Fissure. Create a fissure anywhere on the battleground that explodes after one and a half se Anywhere on the battleground that explodes after one and a half second, dealing 440 damage to enemy heroes in its area. For fun, they should have not shown Kel'Thuzad uh, Kel because. Wow, oh, with exploding with chains. It looks like a circle, so it's a bit like Precision Strike. Actually, it's just like Precision Strike, isn't it? No root effects, same circular shape. Delayed damage. Except I think it's more damage after a longer delay. And remember, 75% bonus ability power. And this is the level 1 value. So how much will he do at 10 if he completed this quest? Eleven hundred forty. If he completes this quest at level 10, this will do 1140. Which is more than Precision Strike. Okay, so that's Kel'Thuzad's kit. Now let's go play some more Dreadlord Jaina. Of course we don't have the skin yet. But we can still play Jaina, by God. I misjudged. <laughs> Osmo didn't.